Like millions of people out there, I'm a huge fan of One Piece and I just finished watching the live action version of the show on Netflix. And let me just say, I was so happy and so hyped that the show ended up being pretty good. By all means, it was probably one of the best anime adaptations probably ever. The castings were incredible, and one in particular was Sanji, who made this incredible dish. I call it a uh, true bluefin saute. It's elephant tuna, seared asparagus, and a sweet soy reduction. <laughs> Is that something? Yeah. Well, I call it crap. So let's get started and hopefully make the Straw Hat Pirates proud. So our cooking adventure begins with asking some simple ingredients to join our recipe, or one might say, crew. Sound familiar? Starting with some garlic. We're going to mince up the garlic with a knife because using our hands would hurt and might not even be possible. We want to mince it up finely. None of this large, inconsistent chunks nonsense I've been seeing around. I don't know why garlic is as good as garlic is, but it's a thing of beauty only rivaled by my love for seasonal Reese's peanut butter cups and my fiance. Enough gawking, let's get this garlic into some sort of container so that we can get it out of the way for later. So on to prepping our onion next. Do onions make you cry when you slice them? I feel that it usually just depends on the onion, whether they choose to be a bully or not. Thankfully, this one is taking it easy on my nerdy self today. As we guide the knife through the onion like a dolphin through water, I begin thinking about how many onions I've sliced up at this point, which then makes me think about the farm it came from, which then makes me think about how I wish I owned a farm myself. What a romanticized idea. Out there grinding and growing your own food. What a dream to pursue. It seems like a relevant topic of discussion since One Piece is all about chasing your dreams. Little bit of prep work done, but the first big step in the process is we're going to make a soy sauce reduction. So over to the stove top and I'll explain there. Our soy sauce reduction will just be a sweet soy sauce reduced to about half so it thickens up and becomes something of a legend. The secret to the sauce is the love we will put into it as well as honey. It already smells fantastic in here. I feel like I've already been talking too much so I'm gonna sit back and let it unfold a little bit. I know sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you've just had enough thinking everything is gone wrong just remember that I So the asparagus is done, and it's one of those really underrated veggies that look great and are super simple to make taste good. Sanji just uses them as a garnish, but the flavor will be there. One of the more unique parts of this dish is that he uses a red coral twill to present the dish. So we're gonna attempt to make that as well, right now. Making some edible coral is probably up there as one of the more fun and innovative things I've gotten to do on this channel in my young YouTube life. Per usual, I had no idea how it would turn out. If you know what I'm about, you know that half of the time, I'm just winging it. I'm essentially going to be making a white flour slurry and then dyeing it red with red food coloring. I'm then gonna use a fine mesh strainer to sift the flour to get a nice consistent powder like so, I have no idea what kind of spice Sanji used for his red coloring, but I thought I would just go with this food coloring instead. With a stable wrist and a look of determination in my eye, I begin to stir and break down the flour while adding in some more coloring to give it a vibrant look that will hopefully pop in the end. The kind of color that would catch Nami's greedy eye. 
Okay, so back to the stove top, we need to introduce our slurry to a hot pan and let it sizzle in a nice pattern. It shouldn't take long, but we want a good combination of different textures to make the coral look organic and alive. I don't have a clear image as to what I'm looking for, it's more of a I will know it when I see it kind of situation. After scraping it off the pan, we are left with some nice pieces that we can work with later on. Everything is pretty much prepped, so let's grab our uh, bluefin tuna from the fridge and we can finish up this dish. In the show, the recipe uses elephant bluefin tuna, which sounds epic, but unfortunately in the real world, it doesn't exist. Luckily, my local fish market has some Toro bluefin tuna for sale, so I picked up about a half a pound for the video. I love the way it looks, and we all know Luffy loves meat, so I bet he would be all over this. As you can see underneath, there's a good bit of ribbons of fat, which means there's gonna be a lot of flavor on the horizon. The tuna is actually fine to be eaten raw, but today we're going to quickly sear each side on medium to high heat. Just get a nice layer of oil down on your pan of choice before we begin. I didn't bother slicing the meat into a nice triangle because I didn't want to waste any, but I am going to press each side firmly down to quickly cook the sides. We want some nice coloring, but we don't want it to crisp it up. That pinkish gray is exactly what we'll be looking to achieve. The best thing you can do is keep a close eye on it at all times. It would be a shame to make it this far only to overcook the tuna at the finish line, which happens to the best of us, but I'm trying my best not to make sure it happens today. Speaking of, what do you think is the worst fumbling all the way moment that you've ever had? One time I was trying to make sugar and cinnamon toast, and instead of reaching for the ground cinnamon, I accidentally grabbed the ground cumin instead. Though it was hilarious when I took that first bite. With the tuna cooked on every side, we can let it cool off a bit and then get to slicing as we expose the vibrant color inside for our plating. Our cooking voyage is coming to an end, so we just need to plate it up and then dive in. Let's get a nice base of our soy sauce reduction spread across the bottom. I think it ended up turning out really well and I was really happy with the consistency. Let's follow that up by introducing our tuna steaks. While it's not looking exactly the same, in my opinion, it's looking pretty snazzy regardless. Garnish with the asparagus, and then the coral twill. And there we have it, a bluefin tuna saute. A dish inspired by pirates and the open sea. It's all done, the bluefin saute is complete. It may not be elephant bluefin tuna, doesn't exist, but hopefully this is the next best thing. I'm gonna give it a bite. I hate to mess up this beautiful presentation, but we gotta try it, so let's do it. Mm. It's actually really good. So good job Sanji on crafting such a beautiful and delicious meal. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thanks for watching. Can't wait for season two. I can't wait for them to introduce Chopper. It'll be really interesting to see how that CGI turned out. So I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.